guitar has turned from the hardest class I had to teach into the easiest. I would say, um, I had a colleague um, who once said, um, being a teacher for people with an education degree is easy. It, being a facilitator is, is the hard shift, and that's what I've turned into. I no longer, I no longer lecture in front of that class. I, it's, it's turned into me roaming around the room, identifying if kids need help, or just waiting for them to self-identify, which is even more robust in my opinion for them. It's when they self-identify that they need some help and we have a small one-on-one, -on -one, um, which creates that connection with that student a little bit stronger. And we, we work on the individual problem they're, they're having and I should give them the skills to show how they can practice it and get over it. And so it's, it's really been that switch from teacher to facilitator of learning. It's, it's self-paced in the amount that you do and uh, what you get during that time. So basically I took the guitar class model, which is usually everybody sitting in a circle and we move painstakingly slow through learning how to read music, um, finger picking, and maybe four chords. And I knew that's not why kids signed up for guitar. So now I have it broken into these major skill skill groups that you need that everybody needs to be able to play their favorite songs on the radio. So the kids will explore power chords, open chords, four chord songs, and um, and bar chords. And those, to me, are really the the basis of a good guitar player. And so the kids come in. We'll kick off a new a new unit, which all of the materials are linked right on Schoology. So if a kid misses that day or needs to return back to watch um, watch how it's done, it's either a video of myself or even better, I like to use things that are available on YouTube to show the kids that if they ever have a question post my class, that these resources are out there without even coming back into my classroom. That introduces it. We do a small group lesson, just going over if everybody's got the mechanics. Um, the kids will do a small um, skills assessment for me, and once they're done with that, they choose their own um, their own song that contains that 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 certain skill. So, if we're working on power chords, they'll do a skills assessment that I've cho chosen. There's three levels: an easy, medium, and a hard. And the kids will self-assess where they're at with that, play that short excerpt, and then move on to choosing a song that has a power chord in it. So during that two to three week unit plan, I will, um, the kids will do what's called a, a, a progress video, where the kids will um, turn into me the good, the bad, the ugly of what they've been working on in the past week. And that's where I can, it, it's all in the same assignment where they'll do their revision one and I'll, I'll assess them at where they are, give them the hard feedback, give them some clues on how to practice and get over some of their hurdles, and then they're able to take that information and continue working for the final video. Um, it also helps a lot with that function because I have the kids put that process on their final portfolio. I have the kids take everything from Schoology and reflect and, um, and self-assess um, and post their SMART goals for every class, all on their, um, their portfolio so it shows their progress of learning. I have some kids that end up in the time, in the time we're working on the unit, which may be two to three weeks, uh, they'll end up learning two or three songs. And then I have other kids that work really hard and get done the chorus of a song. And the reason why I feel like that helps so much is because the environment in my classroom has changed so much. It's not the kids that can play gu guitar and the kids that can't play the guitar. Everybody feels as though they've accomplished something because they can walk away and either play some of their favorite song that they've heard on the radio or all of it. And they're, it's really created a level of equity in my class that has been missing in previous years. Um, the biggest key to success that I've found is really pushing the kids to find those resources themselves because it keeps them going outside of my classroom when they don't have me as a teacher.